Seema Malhotra, you're from the Labour Party. You voted to remain. Indeed. In the EU. If this deal comes before the House of Commons and the alternative is we possibly crash out with no deal at all, would you vote for it? I completely disagree that the only alternative is going to be no deal and I think we have to call this one out. This is the narrative that the Prime Minister has been leading with and you can see today that that was all a lie. You could look at extending Article 50, you could look at having another referendum, or you could look at alternative like staying within the European economic area, which what would actually be better like? for our economy. What do you not like I'll tell about you the... this deal? Because what she's done is she's managed to do something which people thought was almost impossible, which is just to make sure that there's no border. Between well, actually, Ireland, that, even Ireland. that isn't guaranteed, is it? I think that's what's going to play out because there's all the talk about the DUP now not supporting her. The truth is that this was a circle that couldn't be squared. And I think she's been pretending to the British people that we're going to be able to do this. And look, two years on, we're now at the very last minute. But the other thing that's been missing here is absolutely right now that this is no, this, there isn't actually a future deal here. There's the future a declaration of uh, in terms of how we're going to be trading with Europe in the future. That should have been a big part of this. We're now told that that's going to be a very thin document.